Most of everything we interact with on a daily basis has been designed and manufactured by a person or a group of people. But what if we left the designing up to artificial intelligence? What would that look like? Today, we're going to put that to the test. We're going to 3D print a part that was entirely designed by AI. How many hours will this save us? And what are the benefits of using AI to design parts? And oh yeah, one last thing. We're going to 3D print the part out of titanium. There's 100 pounds of titanium inside of this box. It's TI6AL4V titanium metal powder for 3D printing. This powder is from A, P, and C. The parts that we're gonna print with this powder, they were not designed by a human. This is grade 23 titanium, has a particle size of 15 to 45 microns. 15 microns is 6 ten thousandths of an inch, and 45 microns is 1,007 tenths. All right, let's go load our material into the TruePrint 2000 and print this beast. So in order to get the TruePrint 2000 set up, we need to install our titanium build plate and our recoder lip. So our build plate's actually made out of titanium, which is the same material that we're printing with, and it has to be that way in order to weld to the build plate. All right, so we moved our recoder to the leftmost position. Install my thumb screws, get them nice and tight, and that's it. Now I'm gonna use my setup wizard to go ahead and remove our supply cylinder to take it over to the powder prep station. So now we're gonna make the connection between the powder prep station and our supply cylinder using this butterfly valve right here. Now we're gonna install our ground strap. We wanna do that because titanium powder is actually reactive, so static electricity, things like that, can give you a really bad day. Let me show you the crazy part that we're gonna print with it. Here's the model we're gonna be printing with our titanium. It's an injector head for a rocket engine. This entire model was created using an algorithmic engineering platform developed by a company called Hyperganic. So this method of engineering is extremely useful because it saves engineers a ton of time. Using computer code and algorithms to design parts like this is extremely beneficial. For example, on this part we have six combustion chambers. Each one of these ports is a coaxial swirl injector element. And if you look closely, the injector elements closer to the center have a bigger diameter, which gives them the optimal mixing ratio. And they can do that because they're further away from the chamber wall, so they don't run the risk of burning up the chamber wall. Now, traditionally, engineers wouldn't take the time to go through and optimize these because it would take them forever. But using algorithms, the engineer can easily optimize the mixing ratio of these ports, and they can do it quickly and efficiently. The best part of Hyperganic's platform is it's gonna be completely open source and it's gonna be released on June 15th. So any engineer around the world can go on, create an algorithm and make insane parts like this one. All right, let's put our powder containers into our cabin and then we're gonna inert the chamber of this guy and then we'll load it into the supply cylinder. Alrighty, we're good. So our argon gas has filled this entire glove box and there's under 1% of oxygen inside of here. Now we can crack open those containers and pour it down our funnel. So our supply cylinder has a volume of roughly 15,000 cubic centimeters, and our powder has a bulk density of about 2.6 grams per cubic centimeter. So when you do the math, you end up with about 39,000 grams in volume worth of titanium powder. And then when you translate that into kilograms, you get about 39 kilograms of powder to fill our supply cylinder. So we're gonna go just shy of that and do 37 and a half kilograms worth of titanium powder. While our powder is filled Filtering into our supply cylinder, we're gonna prepare our build job by uploading our file. So now the only thing left to do is assign the multi-laser function. To do that, we're gonna hold our file, we're gonna drag it down here to this laser, and now that that's done, you can see this multi-laser option up here. We're gonna take this, we're gonna drag it up there until it turns green, and now you can tell that half of it's orange and half of it's yellow, and that means that it's assigned our multi-laser function, and we're gonna hit our green check, and now we're ready to rock and roll. All right, to set our first layer, we have our build plate about a millimeter below zero. We're gonna coat the entire thing with titanium powder, and then we're gonna move it up about a half millimeter at a time until we have a very thin layer of titanium across our build plate, and then we're gonna hit print. We're gonna make this crazy part. You guys are gonna love it.
look at that. Man, when I saw this model, I was excited, but now holding this thing, it's a whole nother level of excitement. I mean, look at this thing. It turned out so beautiful. Now you guys might notice on the front, we have a cutaway. We wanted to do that to show you guys the complexity of the inside geometry of this part, but make no mistake, if this cutaway wasn't here, this would be a fully functional injector head, and it was only made possible using algorithmic engineering and hyperganic core platform. We were able to optimize our parameters on our TruePrint 2000 and print it with absolutely no supports. Now the no supports thing is pretty cool because we have some really shallow overhanging angles. We have an internal cooling channel running through here. Now this part printed in 48 hours on our Trump TruePrint 2000. One of the best things about the algorithmic engineering approach that was used to design this part is it takes additive manufacturing to a whole new level. I'm really happy with the way our print turned out, but we're not done yet. We still have to wire our part off our build plate. So let's head over to our AV35 and let's get it done. Boom, ready to rock and roll. I mean, look at this picture, it's money, dude. turned out so clean. Ah, oh, it's so awesome. It's hard not to get excited about the future manufacturing when I look at this part. The ability to generate crazy designs like this is gonna take manufacturing to a whole nother level. Not only that, but we have to print these parts. So to have our True Print 2000 be able to print something like this out of titanium, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The possibilities with algorithmic design and 3D printing is absolutely endless. They're using this technology in bioprinting, aerospace, all kinds of different areas. So I'm excited to see where this goes. Hope you guys enjoyed watching us make this part this is the most insane part i've ever made in my life and i'm happy i could share it with you guys for free tutorial videos check out our academy at academy.titansofcnc.com if you want to see more additive content check out our additive playlist don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time <laughs> you'll never guess what's inside this box I need that box to stop right here, okay? You made me laugh, dude. It, it, it.